This is an introduction to the ANKC's ORCID system, which is the officially registered Canine Health Information Database. Now, as part of that, we have the CHED system, which is the Canine Hip and Elbows Dysplasia Scheme. So we'll start with the URL, which is orchid.org ankc.org.au I'll be demonstrating the entry and editing of hips and elbow scores. We're using a test account here so the results will be discarded. Before we do that just on the home page we have a list of the radiologists. We have a link back here to the ANKC website with related forms. And we also have a link here to live statistics, which I'll click on now. So these are updated daily. They are for the last five years. So we have the average, the median and the count per breed. Okay, so we'll log in to the main system. So the first step is to uh, enter exam results, so we'll click on that. The very first step is to identify the dog. So we'll be searching the ANKC database. Uh, the ORCID system has a direct connection to the ANKC database. So if we do, if we enter the registration number and do a search for that, uh, we'll get the results down here. Now we can also search by microchip or by name or prefix. So here we have the details of the dog. We just click on that row there and then we can start the health data entry for this dog. You'll notice it also lists previous exam results for that dog and we can click on those and see them but we'll do that later. So we're starting the health entry for that dog. Now before we do that we've got the full subject's details so we can confirm that that's all correct. Currently there's just one choice for type of exam to enter so we will be adding uh, spines and uh, eye results as well. So clicking on this we can begin the entry for this. So we have the date of x-ray, the data was received and the data was returned. They're just all grouped up there. You can enter the name of the vet. So as you type you'll notice that the list is filtered. Uh, I'm just going to click on a random name here and you'll notice that the, uh, the other details are filled in. I'll just do that again just to... Right. Just to show you how that works, um, if you modify either the name or the email, that will be saved to the list of vets, so that can be reused. So you can also correct addresses. If the email address is changed, just type in the new email address. We select the radiologist, and that's from the panel, there's uh, some... Uh, historical items in there. So a contact name. Now this is different from who the registered owner might be of this dog. Um, it can be that the actual owner is different from the registered owner in the ANKC database. So again we can just type in part of the name and then you'll notice the other details are filled in. 
uh, we can enter the film quality positioning and we can start on the hip scores you'll notice down here the total grades for left and right are being updated so if I add another one there that's being updated add another two there that's updated and this is the total the sum of the left and the right we can enter an Australian grade and make a comment Optionally, we can also enter the elbow grade. So if I click on that, I can then select a grade and uh, the number of millimeters. I can put in a comment here. If I select UAP, then that automatically becomes three. And again, I can make a comment there. Now down here, we can select whether we want, uh, whether the owner has elected for this information to be made public. So I'll say no, and we'll click here to submit the results. So we have the exam ID. If we realize that we have made a mistake, you can quickly click on edit to change and update that. Or we can view the certificate. So I've clicked on that and uh, that's uh, slowly coming up. Okay, so there we can see in Word that is the official certificate for the data that we've just entered. And uh, you can see that that's basically duplicating the information that's here and presenting it in a uh, Word document. Now being a Word document, you can save this, you can do some additional editing if you wish, uh, or convert it to PDF. Just going back to our entry screen here, we can click Edit. So I'll just show you how that goes. Now initially, everything here is grade, which indicates that it's not editable. You need to scroll down to the bottom here and click enable changes and then you can begin making changes to that and then click here to update that. That completes the demonstration of the CHED uh, hips and elbows entry. Thank you for your time.